How much porn is too much porn? Hi, my name is Luke Vu. I'm a clinical psychologist, mental health expert helping young men overcome digital addiction, depression, and anxiety. Today, why you might be struggling to quit porn. Quick disclaimer, I'm not your psych. This isn't treatment. And if you need a psych, you should find a registered qualified psychologist in your area slash country. Is there such a thing as too much porn? Now, I think a better question is, how much porn is too much porn for you? Now, there's no clinical rule yet in what's considered healthy. Ultimately, it's up to you. If using porn makes you feel bad about yourself and affects your ability to work, love, and enjoy life, then it's a problem. It's not about how much. Some people can use one hour a month and find that problematic, whilst others can use porn every single day and have no problem with it. Time spent watching pornography doesn't automatically make it safe or unsafe. It's your attitudes, your beliefs, your moral and ethical codes that's really important when you're evaluating if you're consuming too much porn. Too much is when it starts to mess with your life. Now, there's a quick caveat. If you're in an intimate relationship, your porn use isn't in isolation. That's because your partner has beliefs and attitudes and values about porn as well. But that's a topic for another video. How do you know when your porn preferences are abnormal or concerning? Well, you've got to ask yourself, how do you feel after you consume it? Do you feel shame, frustration, disgust? Or do you feel satisfied, pleasant, or neutral? By the way, it's a clear red flag if it's illegal. FBI, open up! How do I know when to go to therapy for my porn use? Well, that depends. Are you controlled by your urges? Have you had many failed attempts at quitting? Has it affected important areas of your life, like relationships, work, libido, sexual satisfaction, or perhaps to the point of physical injury? Are you having porn-related thoughts in other areas of your life? And has porn influenced how you see the world? Are you more judgmental? Have your attitudes about sex changed? If the answer is yes to one or more of those questions, then you might want to check yourself before you wreck yourself. What's difficult about quitting porn? It's hard to go cold turkey and simply quit. If you have, then congratulations. But if you haven't been successful, it's worth understanding why you're struggling. Online porn is a super normal stimulus. It's a stimulus that is beyond what you would have evolutionarily been adapted to. It's incredibly difficult for you to get bored by porn. Porn is a digital thing that elicits arousal responses beyond anything your brain would have expected to see in the wild. There's also the Coolidge effect. That is, your brain is wired to respond to sexual novelty. Giggity, giggity. It's hard to be bored of porn when there's always somebody new a simple click away. Now with modern porn consumption, there's also rapid context switching. Having multiple tabs open on your browser, allowing you to switch between clips easily is another way that you keep yourself hooked. And lastly, there's emotional avoidance. If you're using porn to manage stress, anxiety, or relationship dissatisfaction, and you don't figure out a way to deal with the cause or alternate ways to deal with those negative emotions before you aim for a reduction, then you'll be left in a harder state than when you first started. The trick to recovery is to make quitting easier and almost as rewarding than the stimulus that you're trying to cut back in the first place. How can a psychologist help me with my porn use? A psychologist can help you figure out how and why you consume porn and how it became a problem, if it is a problem. If it isn't a clinically severe problem, then a psychologist can help you figure out how to keep it from becoming one how to detect early warning signs, and how to ensure general improvement in your quality of life to reduce your overall risk of porn becoming a problem. A psychologist can also give you the right tools, such as managing urges, challenging your beliefs about porn and sex, and even repair the relationships it's been affecting. Importantly, a psychologist can help you plan a reduction or abstinence strategy. This means thinking about how many days, how many hours, and what categories of porn are suitable for you in order for you to feel that you're in control of your porn use. What are things I can do now if I think I have a problem with porn? If you already think that you have an issue with porn, try to do the following two things. One, regulate your porn use. This means attempting to schedule your porn use and see if you can stick to it. Alternatively, take a break from porn or reduce the intensity and see how you respond. Number two, reflect about your porn use. You can also have a think and assess if porn has affected your functioning. Is it impacting your sexual health? your erections, how you view sex, how you view others or your partner. Is it the porn that you want to consume? If you notice that your porn use has escalated in intensity or frequency past what you had intended and it's causing you some psychological distress, then maybe it's worth scheduling an appointment with your mental health professional. 
near you. Hope this helped you figure out when you're using too much porn and when to be concerned. And if you found this useful, don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm Luke Vu, be kind, be you. Catch you next time.